Tonight on Bondi Rescue. Panic in Backpacker's Rip. Lost on Bondi. The boys in blue dispense some tender loving care. A nice block? No. We want the hops. And the world's most famous lifeguard pays a visit. We want the hops. A rainy day on Bondi. The days you never see on postcards. But the tourists still keep coming. Many are poor swimmers with poor English. Even on quiet days, lifeguards must stay alert. What's that out there? Can you see that? that, that, that. Well away from the safety of the flags, a group of tourists have ventured into the notorious Backpacker's Rip. Pretty bad. Looks like a little Indian family. The mother's standing on the shore now. They've just walked straight into that rip. It's the worst spot on the beach. The kid's only tiny. Out of his depth, a young boy is pounded by breaking waves. Chapo bolts past the boy's distressed mother. A novice surfer tries to reach the boy. Now, it's a double rescue. The boy's father is also in trouble. As the surfer reaches the boy, Chapo reassures his father. I think the kids jumped in, he started getting taken out. I think the father and, and that realised he was in trouble, so what they've done, they've jumped in to try and help and they've obviously got themselves in trouble as well. Chapo signals to Jake to bring in the boy. But now the man's daughter enters the water. He doesn't want her to experience the same terror. The Sholapur family from Mumbai are on the last day of a three-week holiday. A last swim for eight-year-old Ariane nearly cost he and his father their lives. It's okay. I saw your son from up there. And that's why we're here. Don't I'm scream just... at us. I know. We, that's why we're here, okay? Thank you. Safely back on shore, Dunstan gives the family a quick lecture in Surf Safety 101. You can't just jump in where you want, right? Yeah. You have to ask questions, look yeah. at the signs. Sure, sure. You guys swam right in front of that yellow sign, which has a no swimming symbol on it. I was going in. Uh, and many waves came at a time, so then I I got drowned and I was pedaling, so then I didn't go inside the water. I just heard the scream and then we were following him from there. And I just saw him, just his head is showing up, up and down, up and down, but he's just not able to come out, you know, from this side. He's just going in and in. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Australia's best-known beach is no stranger to the rich and famous. Last year, teen heartthrob Zac Efron sent some beachgoers into a frenzy. Very exciting event down here today if you're a 12-year-old girl. But now, it's the lifeguard's turn to go crazy. It's been worded up that there's someone very important out there, and it's... Harry's just Keen as to get out there. Mate, see I'm going to tell you who it is. <laughs> this is a VIP guest. It's our godfather. <laughs> it's the Hoff. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> 
David Hasselhoff. The Hoff is still riding the crest of hit 90s show Baywatch. David Hasselhoff's coming. 4-4, I have no idea, mate. We just saw a Bondi on the map and then we drove out here and all of a sudden David Hasselhoff is here, so <laughs> that's pretty fun. <laughs> Some Hufflepuff or Hasselhoff or somebody? <laughs> Mr. Hufflepuff. This is my daughter, she had no idea who David Hufflepuff was. What's his name? Hufflehoff. Hasselhoff. 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 Yeah, that's the one. We're ready to meet the Hoff. He's a sexy piece of meat. He is the godfather of life, Gary. Oh, there he is. He's got his Baywatch gear on. Oh, yes. The Hoff, mate. <laughs> The Godfather has arrived! <laughs> 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 like father, like son! What's happening? <laughs> oh, I, can, I think I can see the pearly whites flashing from here. The Hoff is on a whirlwind promotional tour to sell ice creams. But the make-believe lifeguard is about to bump into a real one. You. Good job. Good job. You look like a little hop over here, brother. Uh, you Come are on, my, man. You are my godfather. Come on, yeah. <laughs> I'm the hop father. I pride myself What's your on name, you. man? Harry's. Harry's. Nice to meet so you, man. So I took H. I yeah. took the hop. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Good, great job out there. The hop even manages to squeeze in a few lines from his latest album. Welcome to Phil. We're going straight. The hop is invited to escape the hysteria. It's a rare opportunity to observe the serious work in the lifeguard tower. The fairy godfather of lifeguards, Baywatch star David Hasselhoff, has sent the real boys in blue into a frenzy. The Hoff is about to be put through his paces. He can cut it in Hollywood, but can he on Bondi? What we're going to do, Dave, if you're going to be here and be one of us, you're going to have to put one of our... Absolutely. Uh, yeah! I think it might do, it might get you to do a radio call, maybe over to one of the other beaches. Bondi Central to all lifeguards is David Hasselhoff. This is not me over here. We need all female lifeguards to come to Bondi Central. All female lifeguards, leave your towers immediately. We want to see CJ. <laughs> yeah, CJ's here and we got Pamela Anderson in the tower. The Hoff just can't seem to get enough of real lifeguarding. Okay, guys, this is David Hasselhoff, the Hoff. You guys have got to move over to the left by the flags, please. Into the flags. Yeah, there's been a sighting of a beautiful girl in the water. <laughs> Be very careful. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Here we go. We've got our yeah! here. Yeah. Yeah. It's the biggest bromance seen on Bondi. Right. Ever the showman, Hoff doesn't forget to mention his sponsors. Okay, Splice Guards out of here. God bless. I'll see you. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Sure. Some fun and games are harmless. But others keep lifeguards very busy. Flat rock. An irresistible magnet for kids. Also, Bondi's prime location for cuts, bruises, and damaged egos. Couple of good ones there. That's not hurting down there. 
Fifteen-year-old Kate has experienced the dangers of flat rock for the first time. I'm not jumping off any more rocks ever. <laughs> Kate has more than a few scratches. She'll need some stitches. So I'm like really cut up and stuff and um, we're just getting help now and then I'm going to get the ambulance to the hospital and I'm not shaking or anything. Yeah, so <laughs> like just heaps of people, you don't have to worry about it all by myself. I just called my mum and she's going to come down to the hospital. <laughs> but Kate is not Flat Rock's only victim. She's the first of a steady stream. Whenever we get a bit of a swell and all the kids are on holidays, Flat Rock's pretty much the place to be and without doubt, it definitely gives us our most first aids out of anywhere. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, mate, just to let you know, they're both, um, they're going to take two of the patients to the hospital. Yeah, no worries. Well, it's got um, two big gashes up here as well from Flat Rock. I've got like 30 cuts just in my knee. No more Flat Rock. And it's going to get bigger tomorrow. Will it? And you've missed out. Ten victims and 20 worried parents. Flat Rock lives up to its reputation. We're going to be on Bondi Rescue. It's like follow the leader, isn't it? Like we did it when we were kids. <laughs> I pretty much watched him do it, so I started doing it when I was a kid. Back in the water, Dunstan tries to control hundreds of people ignoring warning signs. There's no swimming here, man. You can't swim here. There's a lot of people in the water down here in South. This is a rip. We're trying to keep it clear. With so many swimmers, resources are stretched to the limit. Just attention, all these swimmers in front. You can't swim here. You have to swim on the sandbank. Lifeguards focus their attention on the most dangerous parts of the beach, but they can't be everywhere, every time. The guy on the edge of backpack is dude. Suddenly, two men are spotted struggling 50 metres up the beach. A volunteer lifesaver arrives first. The lifesaver dives in to rescue a man going under. He needs urgent help. in my life. I know we do. I know we do. Siraj, a student from Nepal, is recently married. Can stand here. Yeah. We'll walk over there. All right, mate. Thank him. He's one of the Thank God you were there. I would have been looking for him on the bottom. For sure. Water pushed me inside in the deep. And I couldn't get it out, and I'm scared. I'm newly married. That I remember my wife, my country. That's at that moment. That's my end of the life. I think in that moment, and that period. Well, thanks, guys. No worries. That's a good one. Yeah. Good, good, good. You guys deserve all the recognition you get. That was as close as it gets, I reckon. And I knew as soon as they, as soon as they left that sandbag, they went straight underwater. And I just had to bolt. Yeah. To me, you know, normally it's just a person, but when you get a little bit of insight into, you know, what they actually have, and I suppose like anybody, we've all got family, so, you know, he goes home to them tonight. It's good. Awesome. And lucky I'm a fast runner. With thousands jammed on the kilometre stretch of sand, it's inevitable things get lost. Mostly, it's money or jewellery. But today, something far more precious. 
Yeah. Can I help you find mummy and daddy? It'll be alright. Just come, we'll come in here and have a sit down. Yeah? She was like at the end of the pier. See where the mule paint in his long ear? She was long ear. Yep. There was nobody, you can't see anybody looking for her at all. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this man will look after you Do now, okay? Us. Come inside. Yeah? And we'll, we'll go and look for mummy and daddy up that way for you as well, yeah? We'll help you find her. Yeah. <coughs> I didn't want to wander off that up. The little girl may not speak English or is too distraught to speak at all. Let's go in here and we'll see. <laughs> What's your name? This is Megan. What's your name? What's your name? <coughs> Jessica? <coughs> Jessica? Lisa? I'm just trying to get some names. Sarah? Oh. This could take some time. What's your name? <laughs> with no information to work with, it's difficult to know where to begin the search. Where was the last time you've seen your mum? What's mum's name? And what's your name? <laughs> Should we try and find Mummy and Daddy on the TV screen? The only place they could have been probably was by the car park, because that way she was wandering That's around by the stairs. Those. It's alright. It's alright. Troy and Maxie give her some old-fashioned TLC. Do you, do you want to have a look and see if you can see her? Have a look. Yeah. Do you want a nice block? Do you want a nice block? <coughs> do you want a nice block? No. Security vision doesn't reveal any familiar faces. Central to all Bondi lifeguards. Uh, we've got a lost girl. Can't get any information of her. She's crying. So I'm um, interested. Destroy parents. Just step up here. There she goes. Hey, Constable. Uh, this is Maxie from the lifeguards. How are you? Good, mate. Mate, we just got a lost kid here. Just uh, wondering if um, anyone's come up there to look for her. But just as Bondi is being mobilised. Is that mummy? Yes? Yes. Is that mummy? Yes. Yeah. She's coming. She's coming this way. Sorry. You want to come out? Lifeguards discover five-year-old Beatrice is on holidays from New Caledonia with her family. As for how she got lost, Dad has a simple explanation. Oh and how God. many kids have yeah. you got? Eight. Eight? Eight. Wow. Uh, Watch out. We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. Incidents happen off the beach as well as on it. Lifeguards respond to an injury in the skate bowl. Bondo Central to Popo or Bacon at the skate park. How's it looking down there? <laughs> Pete is an experienced skater from the UK, just arrived in Australia. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I spun out for a second. Alright. We're just going to put some stuff in. Hoppo cleans out the wound with saline solution so he can better assess it. Yeah, that's all right, mate. <laughs> He just hit a little bit of a wet patch and he kind of just completely KO'd and hit his head pretty bad. You might have a little bit of con delay concussion as well. Yeah, I'm pretty spun out actually. <laughs> yeah. so it's just a bit... We're just going to put this bandage on now. Yeah, yeah. All right. I was about 20 foot in the air, grabbing my board. Came down head first. <laughs> While Pete is remarkably upbeat, Hoppo is concerned he's done more than cut his head open. So what do you remember like, from the time you were skating yeah. to now? Do you remember much? I'm just trying to work that out. Uh, oh, f sake. Uh, I need to go recap my memory. Then I'm... Yeah, so that's the problem. So that's the problem we've got, see? So something's going on in your head because you don't really... You're not sure. Bleeding inside the skull, a subdural hematoma, could put dangerous pressure on Pete's brain. Really concerned, actually. He's um, lost, lost the plot a bit, so I think we just got to get him to hospital and get him checked out pretty quickly. Do you still know what day it is? Yeah, you know it's uh, Saturday. 
Saturday? Yeah. Okay. It's not, is it? No. No. <laughs> so you, it's basically had a guess. Yeah. He arrived two days ago in Sydney. Um, pretty bad start to his holiday. As they wait for the ambulance, Pete's memory shows no sign of improving. What about now? You got any idea what day it is? Yes, yeah, uh, Saturday. Saturday? It's not, is it? No, it's not. No. It's probably a good idea if you bumped your head. A brain scan will determine how long Pete's Australian adventures are on hold.